Ah. All right, before I start today's video, I quickly should probably mention that I came across like a bit of an asshole yesterday at, at the end of yesterday's video. That wasn't my intention at all, and I understand why people are pretty upset about it. You know, veganism is a subject that just massively differentiates people, and it's probably a subject I need to do more research about. So yeah, I just want to generally apologize about that. I hope you all will continue watching the videos, and perhaps in the future, I'm just going to I'm just gonna stick to cycling. That's my area, not opinions about being a vegan or not. That's not what I'm about. That's not what this channel's about. Let's just put that past us, move on, and let's crack on with today. Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to the weekend. Today's Saturday, and for a Saturday, it's quite a nice start, eight o'clock. But today I'm gonna do two and a half to three hours with some eight minute zone five efforts. Now, I haven't done eight minute efforts in so long, so. I don't really know how I'm gonna pace this today. I don't have a set figure of power in mind. I guess I'll just go off feel and go hard on the first one and try and replicate that power for the next, for the next intervals. I don't know yet. Either way, they're gonna hurt. They're gonna be sore. So I completed the first interval at about 390 watts, which I was fairly happy with. And then I bumped into Ryan. He's it turns out he's doing some intervals as well, so we just kind of did them together. Doing some one minute through and off turns. Kind of simulates being in a two up breakaway, which is hard, it's pretty hard. Normally this Saturday will be my one hour, just an easy pre-race ride, but there's no racing on this weekend, so it's a good opportunity to get in some quality, some quality miles ahead of the end of season races. So we did three in total, I think we're gonna call it a day there. My power for the second and third one basically matched the first one. So even though we we're only doing one minute each on the front, the power still replicated the same as the first interval that like I was on my own. And now I think we're just gonna cruise over to the cafe and chill out for a bit. Training's done, work's done, and now it's time to chill out. Looks like we're not the only ones turning up at the cafe today. Ryan, see you later. All right, heading home now. Ryan's going back over towards Wigan where he lives and I'm going back to Eccleston because that's where I live. Not much cycling content today because like I said, essentially it was just doing, it was just doing efforts, recovering from my effort and doing another effort. Today's been a good ride. We've done some good work, some good intervals. So I'm not gonna dampen it talking about the weather. But I checked last night and it said today it was gonna be 17 degrees, 17 degrees and sun. Not even, not even overcast, not even a cloud in the sky. Just pure sun. That's all I'm gonna to say today about the weather, but uh, we were sat in the cafe then, and we were both saying our legs are absolutely knackered. Luckily, I've only got like a 15 minute ride home. Ryan's got about a 45 minute ride home, so I don't envy him at all. So now I'm gonna creep home, get my recovery shake in, get some food down me, and just chill out for a bit. It's like I always say, find someone of similar or better ability, do some hard training with them, and it doesn't get much better or much more beneficial than that. So we've literally just walked in, put my bike back in the shed, we've got it there. I don't hang this bike up because I ride it pretty much every day. It's coming in and out of the shed. It's kind of just extra hassle having to hang it up. So I just leave that bike propped up against the wall. But I wanted to show you this. So I've got my time trial bike here. It's a Cervelo P5. And previously it was just on the floor collecting dust. There's no wheels on it at the minute, so I can't hang it up. So I came up with this little idea where I've just hooked the saddle on this like little ledge. And now it's kind of just like suspended in the middle of the shed. I thought it was a pretty cool idea. <laughs> Don't have a whole lot planned today. My, my, I had two jobs to do today. One was edit the video, which I did this morning when I first woke up. The second was go out training, which I've also done. So I don't know where today's gonna take us. But I quickly wanted to sit down and say thank you for the support over the last few weeks where some videos have been a little bit shorter, some have been a little bit longer. I've missed the odd day, but you guys are still showing up, still supporting, and that's insane. And with this, I'm putting less pressure on having to, you know, having to make a daily video. And other days there might be a shorter video because I don't know, maybe I've had a hard interval session or that day is not very busy. And I feel like this is working. Training has been going great. Racing has been going great. My fitness feels great. So yeah, I just want to say, well, me and Lexi, just want to say thank you for the support. Kids always stay hydrated. I take water with me everywhere. I've been sat at home for the past few hours doing very, very little. I thought today would be a good opportunity to go and do something go and head into town and purchase something that I've been meaning to go and get for quite a while now. So I'm gonna focus on driving and when I get to Preston, I'm gonna explain everything. 
So I'm back at Corey's today, except this time I'm in Preston rather than Chorley because I went the other day to Chorley and it was absolutely useless. But anyway, I'm here today to buy a new coffee machine. I'm gonna go inside, find the one I want, make the purchase, and then I'm gonna explain the reasoning behind doing what I'm about to do. Let's show them we are better than Paris. Let's show them we are better than Paris. All right, so I've just purchased a uh, Nespresso coffee maker. Now, before you all go crazy at me in the comments, I know all the hardcore coffee drinking fans probably aren't gonna be too happy with that. However, I don't really like the taste of coffee from like a stovetop coffee maker or I don't know, an AeroPress or something. And I have got a traditional styled uh, Del Delongy coffee maker at home. But I feel like when you buy a traditional styled coffee maker, you gotta spend serious money on it. Otherwise the quality, the quality isn't that great. The one I've currently got at home is a pretty basic, a pretty cheap coffee maker. And personally, I feel like you gotta spend at least 500 pounds on a decent machine to get a decent to get a decent brew from it and at this current moment in time there's better ways for me to spend 500 pounds than on a coffee maker right and in my honest opinion pod coffee is pretty good so i've just picked up like a cheap nespresso now because at least that's better than like nescafe instant That's good to see they included some coffee pods with it. Not bad. Not bad. 